guys, we'll give you a little update what we're working on here today. Um, for my subscribers that have been watching me for some time now, within the last two years, you've seen on several videos, Gene, a friend of mine, he's got a 41 Ford Coupe, and he brings it in and out for me to do a little bit to it every year. Uh, the first year, we took the body off the frame, uh, we gutted the frame, we painted the frame, we did it up real nice, we put the body back on with all new body mounts, and uh, Bruce had built up a really nice flathead motor for it. Uh, the motor was put in it, and uh, we put it was a uh, five-speed uh, that you use. That you use uh, the five speeds off the S10s. So Gene had that all done, and we bolted the body back down. Then he brought it back to me last year. If you go back and see my videos, and we ripped the rear fenders off, and we redid all the rear fenders. We just put them in some old blue paint that was laying around the house here. It's not the color he's going to go. He doesn't care if the car is multicolored right now. He's doing it like it was back in the day when you were in high school or whenever. We're only doing it for what money he has. Now he's brought it into us, and we're going to do the whole front sheet metal, all the front fenders. So we'll go out there and take a look. Lisa's working our way on it. She's taking it apart. She's doing an awesome job. We'll go take a look. Okay, let's... As you can see, it's the end of February here, and look at the beautiful sunshine today. It's like 15 or 16 here, which is like uh, probably like 62, 65. So there we go. Lisa's working away on Gene's car. You see we got the uh, obviously the front bumpers off. Radiator's pulled out of it. She's plugging away, getting it apart. We'll show you in case you guys forgotten. There's the motor. Now Gene's plan is he's going to get rid of that ugly alternator hanging off of there. He's going to move that totally out of the way. He's got a tri-power setup he's going to put on this car. And he's just going to change a few things around. So, uh, and I don't blame him because it looks pretty damn ugly if that alternator sitting up there. Ain't that right, Lise? Yes. Yeah, you should have a generator, actually. Yes. You can buy these generators that are 12 volts nowadays. They're big money, but I tell you, it looks a hell of a lot better than having an old school car with that ugly old new alternator on there. But I think he's keeping the alternator. I believe he's just moving it elsewhere so it's not so noticeable. Uh, back when we did have the car here off the frame, you can see we'd already painted the firewall. If you come around here for a refresher to refresh your memory, if you that have forgotten, you can see. There's the fenders. I don't know if you can tell in the video here, but they're a totally different color, but they were completely rotten. Uh, we did all the welding and repairs on them, and uh, we put them back on for them. And now, of course, like I was saying, this year we're going to do the front fenders. You can see how bad they are. Actually, they're not bad down below. If you get down below here, they're pretty damn good. But who knows what is hiding or lurking under this mess? Because if you feel them behind, it almost feels like I can feel body filler coming right through. And these fenders do separate. They unbolt all the way across here. And uh, the only way to fix this car, do it properly, is some people would leave that bolted up and just grind in there the best they can. But I am going to suggest to Gene that we take them apart. Completely take them apart and do them proper. Get the paint in between the seams and put them on. That put them back, all back together that way. You can even see this fender. You can just see the waves in it. And of course, it's a little harder to find the front front end stuff. Any kind of sheet metal stuff for 41 Ford. It's it's a little hard to find this stuff. So that's what's going on there. And of course, Casey's car. You see Casey's car sitting here. If you remember, we got the floor all finished in it a couple of videos back. Casey came, got the frame. He's taken it to his high school. His high school shop teacher said that he is uh, more than welcome to use the shop for a few weeks so he's going to give Casey a hand. Casey's going to redo the whole frame. All new bushings, leaf springs, ball joints, control arm bushings, tie rods, pitman arm, idler arm, you name it, Casey's putting it all new on the frame. And uh, again Casey's plan for this car is he's going to uh, do it in like a satin block and he's got the uh, Pontiac, the 283 Pontiac motor with the, uh, he's actually putting a four speed behind it. He's starting out like uh, most, most young kids don't, he's actually going to drive standard. So good on Casey because most kids nowadays don't even know what a standard is. Everyone's into automatics. Haven't got a clue. A real hot rod has three pedals. Ain't that right, Lisa? Hell yeah. There you go. Okay, so we'll go in the shop here. We'll show you what we've been doing with Jake's car. There's Jake's car actually over there. You can see it in the, in the background over there sitting under the carport. It's all in final primer, completely done, ready to go. Now here's Jake's frame. You saw the video on the how-to on how to put the uh, Hotchkiss suspension in it. So there it is. Now you might notice, you might be looking here and saying, well, why are the coils all falling out? It's just because there's no weight on the body right now. But there's that. There's all the Hotchkiss suspension underneath it, the new rear end underneath it. It's all completed. Shocks are on it, done. Frame has been powder coated. We've been working on the front end, all new ball joints, control arms, 
you know, we've got the drilled rotors, the drilled and slotted rotors on it, tie rods, pitman arms, steering box, you name it, it's new. So that is what's going on with Jake's. We're pretty much ready to get the wheels on it today, run some brake lines, and the frame is done and over. We're going to get the body in here next week, paint the underneath of the body because it's already in texture spray, paint the floorboards of the body a nice shiny black, and bolt the body down on the frame. Now, we'll roam over here. Yes, that's my Chevy in the background. Never mind what's going on with it. That's only my business. We'll come over here and we'll look and see what, see what Dr. Dave is up to today. Dr. Dave is working on a 67 Volkswagen van, which you've seen in several videos. It's kind of crowded in here, but there it is. He's, uh, he's getting her done. I got, I got to do some primering here on the nose for him tonight. But there he is. He's back there. See, he's got his sunglasses on. He's got his sunglasses on because... Uh, oh, cool. He's cool. Yeah, Dave even wears his sunglasses at night. I think they made a song about you. You remember that song like, I wear my sunglasses at night? Yeah. You remember that, eh? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, well anyway, we're just, we're showing the viewers what you're up to. This thing. This thing. Hey, he's not too impressed. He's got to reach up high to get the roof on this thing. You, you wouldn't think a Volkswagen van, you don't realize just how big they are until you actually start going on them. Ain't that right, Dave? Especially the panels the doors. Yeah, look at the panels on this thing, you know. And the thing is, these, these cars were never straight from factory, or these vans, I should say. So uh, you, you've got it better than factory. I would hope so. There we go. He's got it looking good. But this is not a block and uh, a block by hand at the end of the day. This isn't that kind of job. They didn't want to spend the money. No, they didn't want to spend the money. You're right. They just wanted it cleaned up the best they could get it and make it a little better than the factory, and that's what they're going to get. Just machine it and be done. Machine it and be done. There you go. Yeah, well, he's doing a very fine job. As usual. As usual. Okay. No handy tips for anyone today. Not today. No. Okay. I see you got your, if I zoom in way back here, I see you got your, uh, there's your turkey hat. Yes. It's looking pretty dusty. It is. It's almost like weird again. Is it? Almost. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to it. You know. Yeah, almost time to spin this thing around. Okay. Well, then I'll uh, I'll stop video. Yeah, it's noon too. We have a lunch break at one. Yeah. Okay. Well, you uh, are you ready to spin it around? Oh, okay. Well, you come and get me when you're ready. Okay. Okay. It, there you go. <laughs> so that's what's going on there. <sighs> Dan's a little 37 Ford. You're probably wondering where that is. You didn't see that. Dan's car, I dragged it out today. I actually took it down to get the exhaust done on it today. Um, again, Dan's car is pretty damn close for us to fire it up. We always fire vehicles up uh, way before we end up painting them. I, I, that's what we like to do. So uh, his car is down getting exhaust. We'll bring it home and then we will uh, run the motor and break everything in. Hopefully everything's fine there and uh, we'll just take it from there. So anyway, remember it's always a good time at old time. Thanks again, you guys, for subscribing. Any new guys out there, go back, look at my videos. You'll find some videos with Gene's 41 Ford in it. Uh, like I say, hasn't got a lot of money, just does a little bit every year, and that is all fine. We're here to help people, and we're here to work with them. So that's, that's hot rodding. That is totally hot rodding. That's what it's all about. Okay, big thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing.